guys welcome back to my channel um happy new year if i haven't already said happy new year on my channel i am um, i film these quite a way ahead of schedules just so i can keep on top of uh putting up some content for you so happy new year did you all have a good christmas i hope you all did um i must thank louise for getting me this lovely, I'll try and get a photo of it, this lovely totem, owl totem. Um, when she gave it to me, I went, oh, my mum would like that. So, um, and I have found out the meanings of this um, owl totem. So, um, I'll, uh, I might do a... Uh, film later on of what the meanings of the totems um may be because i know you can get different ones but yeah she um she got me the owl totem um i also over christmas um got myself a sage smudgeon um stick thing which went down lovely with my husband not <laughs> it did give us a little bit of a headache so I have got to get used to it but I smudged myself I smudged my altar where you guys are at the moment um smudged the rooms and uh yeah it didn't go down well because I didn't know re I didn't realize you had to open windows so now that I realize I've got to open windows when I smudge myself I think I'll just use it for smudging myself um, I'll open windows, do it in the bedroom and open the windows and smudge my altar. So that goes there. Um, I also have to thank my work colleague and friend Caroline for getting me the best Christmas present ever. And I mean ever. And you guys, you all know I'm a Harry Potter fan. Yeah. How awesome is this Christmas present? How awesome. She got me a cup, um, a Harry Potter cup, and it looks like it's the Marauders map, and then when you put hot water in, it'll say, I do something swear I'm up to no good, or mischief managed, or stuff like that, yeah. So, um... One of my favourite pieces of my Christmas present. Also, my husband got me The Soul and Spirit, which is one of my favourite magazines. So, this is becoming a really long intro. So, um, yeah, I don't know how late in January we are, but happy... Happy New Year. I hope you're having a great New Year. Um, I hope it started off well. I hope it started better than 2020 did. Um, however, um, I've got a feeling my 40th in February is going to be a bit of a washout. Oh, and keep watching um, in February because on February the 8th, I'm going to give you a bonus video being so I am 40 um, in February. I am... Excuse me, that's just my phone going. Let me just... Um, I am going to be putting a special film up actually on my 40th birthday, which is the 8th of February. So if you want to go along and watch that on my birthday, come and celebrate with me. Uh, click the subscribe button, join my birthday party kind of thing, join the fam. And, uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh, 
It's going to be half a cup, let's put more in. It's so cool. <laughs> but today, now I've got all that out of the way, today I am actually going to do a talk about mental health. You guys know I've been struggling with my health, mental health just recently. I am back at work. I am back at work, I'm coping and putting coping mechanisms in, So, but I am struggling still. And even when I'm at home, I struggle still. But I am putting in um, coping mechanisms to get me out of the anxiety that I get myself in, which then leads to stress, which then leads to my depression. So, we're talking about mental health today. I've got my little uh, fluorite crystal on me today um, because that crystal helps heal uh, mental health. And so, oh, excuse me. What I do is when I do a uh, meditation, I put it under my, um, put this bit under my little ponytail and uh, put it just on the third eye near my sort of like crown and third eye chakra. So that's where I'll pop it. And as you probably can tell, yes, I've got a new hairstyle. Thanks to my husband. I absolutely love her. I don't know whether you guys like it. Comment down below and say whether you like it. I love the little uh, sort of like uh, anime bit. It makes me feel like I'm more animated, but I love haircuts that are not the norm. I do like haircuts that are not the norm. And it's coloured at purple as well, which I love. I love purple, I love marble. You get me purple or marble, you're golden with me. Whether it's black marble, um, white marble, gold marble, silver marble, I don't care. Marble, I love. Anyway. Off on a rant, so uh, let's get into mental health now. Right guys, I'm going to try and be quick with this and I may pull out a gratification card today as well, just so that helps with our mental health, so that we're grateful and um, blessed and stuff like that to make sure that we're, we're having a good day today. We're having a good day. So, it says here, what is mental health? And I'll try and link the um, the website I got this from. So, I'll link it down below. Mm -hmm. Mental health includes emotional, physical, social well-being. It affects how we feel, think, feel and act. Well, yes, it does. Because... Um, before I had my little breakdown. Merry Christmas! Happy New Year! Oh, that's my husband wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So uh, I think we're I think we're done with the Christmas. I think New Year is thingy. So he's wishing you all a Happy Christmas and a Happy New Year. So <laughs> um, 
So yeah, what was I going on about? Oh yeah, before my meltdown, um, I did have, I wasn't myself, I weren't acting like myself. I was argumentative all the time. I was, thought everybody was at my throat all the time. And I will say that I was possibly becoming borderline independent on alcohol. I weren't, I don't think I was an alcoholic, but I was bordering on becoming one. So, it also helps determine how we handle stress related to others and make choices. Mental health is important um, at every stage of our life from childhood and child adolescent and into um adulthood now when i was a child my i was a bit of an unruly child um so yes i did have a therapist uh when i was a child and that um uh but as i got older we didn't go um my adolescence, I did again have uh, mental health issues. Oh, and the same when I was in childhood, um, the death of my father didn't help either. And I think this is why before my breakdown this year, I, even though I have talked about it in the past and stuff, clearly haven't healed from it. And now I'm going into spiritualism and stuff like that. Um, I feel I'm now starting to learn to heal and listen to my body and, you know. So, um, yeah, so that didn't help. So in adolescence, I would say I was bullied in my adolescence. Um, when I went to school in the first three years, I was bullied, um, which I didn't know how to cope with. Um, so I just... You know, but when it came to exams in my adolescence, um, again, I could see myself becoming snappy, becoming argumentative. But then you also include that, is that teen angst? Was I being a teen angst? So what I would do is if, um, if I was getting into a bit of a narky mood, because I lived quite near a riverbank, um, when I was a teenager, I used to walk along the riverbank. If I had too much study or I was getting too overwhelmed with study or something like that, I used to walk along the riverbank with my headphones in and blaring poppy kind of music. So, and now that we're into adulthood, I find it a little bit harder now to speak up about my feelings, uh, it's I find it's it's not a taboo subject, but it is a taboo subject. It's sort of like as an adult, you're meant to be strong. You meant to have all the answers when you don't have all the answers. You know, um, you you change your mind from one minute you're doing one thing to the next minute you're doing the other thing, and you just just wish. That's what I get from mental health. You don't know what direction to go in. You don't know what to do. And you can't find any help anywhere. Where there is loads of help everywhere. And you do know what to do. You're just a little bit lost. And you can't see it yet. Until you let go. Which I'm now trying to start to do. And experience things. And just let go. Because I don't like change. I bloody hate change. But I'm experiencing it at the moment on a big scale. So um, I'm experiencing change and I don't like it. And I'm, I think that's why I had my little kind of hissy fit. And now I'm coming, coming through and trying to... Anytime somebody upsets me, bring it down, think about it, then answer. Doesn't always work. But I do try. However, when on again, um, over the coming, over the courses 
of your life, you'll experience mental health problems. Um, your thinking, mood and behaviours could be affected. Many factors contributed to mental health includes... Um, there's a chemical in your brain, I can't quite read this, a bio, biological uh, factors such as genes or chemical reaction to the brain, uh, life experiences, which I've just told you, the death of my dad, my GCSEs, uh, being bullied, you know, all that has a toll on your um from your past and it brings it into the future and you think shit I can't do this when actually you can and again when I learn when I talk about learning about my tarot cards and I say that I do actually feel like every time I'm giving you a learn with me tarot card I'm living through that actual tarot card I'm going through the journey of that tarot card I literally am so but you can get through that um uh contributing to um so all these factors behaviors mood thinking can contri contribute to um mental health so um and trauma and abuse which i've just said can um affect your mental health family history of mental health um problems don't think my family has mental health problems well they do now clearly me <laughs> but i don't no i tell a lie i tell a lie um my mum had a little bit of um traumatic stress when after my dad died so no i do tell a lie i do tell a lie please forgive me so there is but it was more it wasn't I don't think it's hereditary with us. I think it's more um what's the word? I'm trying to look for the word. It's not hereditary. It's the it's where we're at in our lives, I think. I mean I'm I'm hitting forty in February, you know, and I know people say that don't have a big impact on your life. It does. Some people are just sort of like, yeah, I'm 40. Some people are sort of like, oh my God, I'm 40. And some people are just sort of like, oh my God, I'm 40. But I'm going to embrace it. I'm one of these people in between there. Oh my God, I'm going to be 40. And hang on a minute, let's just try and embrace this. Because let's just say I had a mouth pain when I was 30. And I'm 40 in February. Help. What am I going to be like when I hit 50? I probably don't care then. <laughs> um, so, um, mental health problems are common, but um, help is available. Uh, people with mental health problems can get better and many recover completely. I... I feel I'm not completely recovered. I feel like I'm still recovering. But I also know I have to work through it. So I have to go back to work and work through it. Because if I don't work through it, I don't think I will ever heal. So, um, so yeah, I think I'm in between the... Um, in between of getting better and we can really complete, we can completely recovering. I can't get my words out today. And now we're going on about early warning signs. Now, I kind of knew my early warning signs, but I'm one of these people I need to be told, look, you need to go and see a GP. You need to go now. I'm one of these people I'll push through, I'll push through, I'll push through. I bugger off broken. You know, I'm one of these people that I have to break before, so it's basically a bit too late before <coughs> before anything goes on. I'm one of these people, um, and I have been ever since my dad passed away, um, I'm one of these people, I've got to be strong for everybody else 
So then when it comes down to me and looking after myself, as soon as I have a mental health problem or something's cropped up or I know I'm not myself, it's too late by then and I've gone under, basically. And I can see the warning signs, but I'm sort of like, no, I've got to be strong. I can see them. It's just sort of like, no, they're going through a ton of SHIT at the moment and I want to be there for them. So when, when I get through it, I go under and I go under like a sack of SHIT. And I do it with style. <laughs> you just got to ask my husband about that. I do it in style. So early warning signs. Not sure um, if you or someone you know is living with mental health problems. Um experiencing one or more of the following feelings or behaviors can be an early warning sign of problems now i did have a few of these so eating and sleeping too much or too little i did have <laughs> thank you <laughs> I never get any attention. She talks to you a lot more than me. He does get his attention. Don't! <laughs> he does get attention. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But he, he has been a rock for me. He really has been a rock for me. So, uh, yeah. Oh, bless him tearing up now. Right, yo. Uh, let me just wipe my eyes. I don't need to tear up now, do I? Right, um, pulling away from people and um, unusual activities. Well, yes, oh, my eyes just keep watering. Um, yes, I had, um, I was pulling away from people. People, yes, I was pulling away from people. Um, I wasn't talking to them. Um, even my husband says I was becoming unusually um sort of like keeping stuff from him, which i never do i tell my husband everything and he says he said to me please don't do that to me so yes i was having unusual behavior um having low or no energy yes i had that feeling numb and like nothing mattered yes because i was staying in bed and didn't walk it up after my breakdown um, I didn't want to get out of bed first month, didn't want to get out of bed, didn't want to do anything, didn't want to eat, didn't want to talk to anybody, um, I just felt like I just wanted to sleep for the whole day and night and, you know, so, um, having unexplained acne or pain. Well, I get a lot of stomach pain anyway um, at that time of the month. Sorry, guys. At that time of the month. Um, but sometimes I was getting unbearable stomach pains. So, um, yeah, I was, I was getting that. Feeling of helplessness and hopelessness. Yes, I had that. Smoking, drinking, or using you using drugs or any other um, unusual substances. Um, like I said before, I I did feel like I was becoming to hitting the alcohol pretty hard. Um, I would, instead of going for a nice glass of water, go for a glass of wine, which then became two glasses of wine, which then became three glasses of wine. Then I started hitting spirits. Um, so yeah, I was, I was drinking quite a bit. So not enough to get drunk, but enough to, you know, to start harming how I was feeling. 
feeling unusually confused, forgetful, uh, on edge, angry, upset, worried and scared. Yes, all of them. I had all of them. Uh, yelling, fighting with family and friends. Yes. Yes, I did. And there was um, one I shouldn't have really yelled at and gone ahead at, but I did. But that's it. Experienced several mood swings and caused problems in relationships. Yes, I had that. Having thoughts and memories that you um, couldn't get out of your head. Yes, hearing voices and believing things that were not true. Now, I have heard voices, but I weren't in, at the time, a mental health kind of state. I was kind of just then getting into it. So it might have been, I don't know, but um, it was when I was at work and I was going down a corridor and down this corridor there was no nobody about and I was going to a ward where my mum was um, for um, a long time because she suffered a stroke so she she was in this ward for a long time and she it had been two years since, so it was, I think it was this year I heard it, or was it last year? Anyway, my mum had passed, and they told me to go to this ward that my mum used to be on, and every time I go on that ward, um, I can see my mum sitting there, even though she's not there, even though I know it's in my head, I can see her sitting there, yeah. This corridor goes round corners and stuff like this, so I just went round the corner and I heard Bernadette. So I went round the corner and I went, yes? No one there. But I specifically heard my name being called. Down that corridor, yeah, where I was heading to a ward that my mum used to be on before she passed away. I know. Well, I know. Thinking of harming yourself and others. Not really. Well, yes in a way, but no. I didn't want to harm myself to the point I wanted to harm, harm myself. Like, you know, you get people that cut themselves. Um, I want to, I don't know what I wanted to do, but I just didn't, just didn't want to do anything. So if I could get out of doing stuff, oh, I had a, a niggling thought in the back of my mind. What could I do to just get myself, how could I hurt myself to get myself out of this? So I weren't thinking of, or oh, anything like that. But I was thinking, oh, hang on a minute. And um, what was the other thing? Um, harming yourself. And uh, no, I didn't want to harm others. That was the one thing. I think if I if I did um, harm others, it would have been verbally. It weren't. It would have been yeah more verbal than attack. Um, but no, I didn't want to hurt anybody. That was the last thing I wanted to do. Um, inability to perform daily tasks like taking care of your kids or getting to work or school. Now, yes, I was kind of having um, problems getting to work um, where I was starting to feel sick in the mornings. I was feeling sick in the mornings, I was feeling sick um, when I was eating, um, so yeah, it was, it was a really bad anxiety and that lasted uh, about four months of constantly feeling uh, sick, going just going to get the bus to work or 
um, my husband says, all right, um, I'm, I'm going out somewhere. So I, it, it just filled me with feeling sick. Uh, mental health and well-being. Positive mental health allows people to realise their full potential, uh, cope with stress of life, uh, work productively, which I'm now doing. My husband reckons I've got OCD now because I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to keep on top of things. So like I'm trying to keep on top of these videos. I'm trying to keep on top of the housework, and now I'm juggling work now. So I'm trying to keep on top of work, and it is at the moment touch wood working. <laughs> it is working at the moment. Um, I haven't gone and seen anybody about my mental health at the moment. Like I said, I've been picking things up in Soul and Spirit magazine. I've been doing my own inner work. Um, I've been going out there for my runs. Which, may I say, two times now I've completed a 5k. I've been slow, but I've completed it. You guys know how I was struggling with it? I think I'm getting my mojo back with my run. Oh, I hope I'm getting my mojo back with my run. No, let's mind that. I am getting my mojo back for running. <laughs> positive mental attitude. Let's let's have a positive mental attitude. Um, making meaningful and contributing to the community. Ways of maintaining positive mental attitude um, get professional help if you need it uh, connect with others stay positive positive mental attitude <laughs> um, get physical physically active runs Zumba yoga whatever you need to do do it um, help others I hope I'm helping you guys I mean, um, I don't know much about mental health, but I have gone through it, you know, so I hope I, if there's anyone out there um, having a nervous breakdown right now, you will get through it. I have. And I know it's easier said than done, but you need to go through that journey. Just feel the feels and go through that journey. You will get through it. And developing how to cope coping skills which is what I'm now doing someone upset me breathe in breathe out if that don't work just say to them look I have to walk away now you're making me angry or I have to wait or walk away now you're making me anxious please don't raise my anxiety please don't bring toxicity into my life let me calm down and I will come back to you in a calm manner and it usually works it's worked for my husband. It's worked in work at the moment. Um, I have had to recently, even though I've only just gone back, I've had to um, go somewhere and just go. Right, so I'm going to pull a um, pull a card out for you, a gratitude card. Quick one. Let's see if spirits will give us one today. Just one card today, please. Or mental health. Tell my YouTubers that they're going to be okay. There we are. We've got one. And it's, um, I think it's the sacral it's a, or it could be solar plexus it's a yellow though so i think it might be more solar plexus could be chakral um chakral but i think solar plexus so it says hey um, i am content and appreciated above the beauty of the universe and know that i have a part to play in it my life is abundant with all the mother nature provides and I am so appreciative. Wow. That just 
blowed my mind then. We're going on about mental health. And it says, I appreciate Mother Earth and uh, that I've, I, have, I have got a part to play in life. I am part of life. I am Mother Earth's child kind of thing. I have a life. I can do this. So that that has just blown my mind. I love how the cards do that. Anyway, I'm going to knock it in the head here because <laughs> my battery's going to go. Um, so if you like this film, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button below. Da, da, da. Click the subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell on all because I upload every Saturday. So come and join the fam. Bye guys. <laughs>